Hi guys, hope you are doing well. Today I want to plug to my Steam Deck very interesting devices. I want to plug external microphone like that. It's a very nice microphone, AKG, and uh, it sounds very well because internal microphones of Steam Deck it's not so nice. And I want to try how will it work with USB Type-C connection of that microphone or no. And uh, I want uh, also to try a web camera like that. It's just simple random uh, Chinese web camera that I bought in the uh, nearest supermarket. So I don't know will it work on Steam Deck or no, but we will see. So let's go. I think we'll start from the microphone because it has USB Type-C plug and I have a cable Type-C to Type-C so it will be really very easy to connect that microphone with the Steam Deck. Ok guys, let's start from the microphone. If you didn't know, Steam Deck has its own microphone, internal microphone. How to find it? It's just in settings and in uh, audio options. So when you are going to the audio options, you must choose input device. By default, it's microphone internal. So it's just microphone that has Steam Deck inside. And now we plug in external microphone with USB Type-C cable. I have such simple USB Type-C to Type-C cable. It's made by Samsung or something like this. I don't remember exactly, but it doesn't matter. So one side of that cable we plug to our Steam Deck and the other side we plug in our microphone. It can be different types of microphones. I think it can be just small or big microphones. I used this microphone for a long time and it's very nice sound and you can buy it something like for $120, so it's, it's rather fine microphone and if you are playing professionally or just you want to have a nice sound with microphone, you can just buy it. Or you can buy just a simple random microphone, like a small one, maybe somewhere on Amazon for something like 5 or 10 dollars and it will be really fine too. You can plug it to your Steam Deck and uh, just make a good sound. So when we plug our microphone, our lights here tell us that the microphone starts working. I don't know exactly if it works or not, but uh, the power goes to microphone, so we save it. And the second step will be to choose settings and audio options to see if it's really true, if our microphone really works. So now you can see that our microphone is AKG C44 USB microphone. So now it's working properly and now it's working fine. And as you can see, our output device changed. So now our input device is that microphone and output device is the both that microphone too, because it works like audio card and it has option to plug uh, headphones here and listen music from here or listen game from here so if you don't want to use your microphone like audio card and to listen sounds from here you can change the options output device to your speakers or to your headphones if you have some headphones here so now it's working, but how to test it? Now I will show you one way to test it in a desktop mode. So when you are on a desktop mode, you must choose audio options here. And here you can see all of your audio devices of input and of output devices. So here is our microphone. It's microphone AKG C44, USB microphone. And you can see that it works very fine. So we can use it here, like lower sound or make it bigger. And it really works. So now you can use your microphone and you know that it's really working. Here you can also mute your microphone. Or you can choose your internal microphone too. So as we see it works perfectly and also it works in gaming mode. 
so we can just plug and play. Ok, now I want to connect my camera to the Steam Deck and I don't know if it work or not, but I have a little problem because it doesn't have USB Type-C, it has only just random simple USB. So what you should do to do that? I highly recommend you to buy such type of connector. It supports USB Type-C output and input is HDMI, 3 USB, random USB and 1 USB for extra power and 4 USB Type-C devices here. So we just plug our camera to that connector and plug our connector to our Steam Deck. It's very simple. So let's try to plug our camera in here. And to do that I'm using the special connector. So I'm just plugging to our connector camera. And nothing happens. Um, actually when it works on the computer uh, it uh, has LED light here, blue one, so you can see it's working, but now it doesn't work. And uh, here I don't know how to see if our camera connected or not, because we doesn't have such options in menu. We only have options with a sound, yes, but nothing about web cameras or something like that. So I, I just think that actually it doesn't work here. We will try to make it work maybe on a desktop mode. Ok, now we are in desktop mode, but nothing happened again. So I don't see our web camera here, nowhere, only our memory card and um, nothing. And I think that it doesn't support web cameras. Or maybe I have not so popular model of web camera because it's just a cheap simple camera. Maybe if you plug Logitech or something better it will work, I don't know. But now we can see that it doesn't work and uh, I don't know, I, I don't know it's bad or not. Maybe it's just normal because you don't need to plug a web camera here to play with a camera to show yourself because you, you must have a computer for that and this is not a computer. Actually, yeah, if you install Windows here, I think everything will work fine just from the box and you don't need to tune it. But here I think we have two cases. So one case it is that it doesn't work at all in that system and it has no drivers or something like that. And the second case that we can tune it somewhere in menu, somewhere in our system because it's Linux based system and I think Linux people who know Linux good, they can fix it and they can try to tune that camera and start working. But I don't, I, I know, I'm not a specialist in that and just try to plug my camera and I see it doesn't work. So I'm okay with that because I don't really need a camera when I play in a game or so something like that. And guys, I want to do one interesting thing. I want to plug in my phone, my cell phone here with USB Type-C connection and to see what will happen. I have a Samsung Galaxy Fold phone, the third modification. And I will take our cable that I used to plug in uh, with our microphone. So, let's see what will happen. One side I connect to our Steam Deck and I, I hope it will not be bad for a phone or it will be bad for a Steam Deck, so let's do that. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> really, it is, it, it's just amazing. Look at this. When I connected uh, my phone to the Steam Deck, it starts charging, really? Yeah, battery is charging now is 89% of battery, and it's 
how can that be? I, I think, yeah, it, it can be. And now and my phone is 29%, it was 30. So it's just uh, charging from my phone. So uh, my Steam Deck use my phone like a power bank. It's interesting information because when you have a problem with your Steam Deck battery, you need to charge it a little bit. You can just do it from your phone. I understand it will be not a really good decision because your phone has not so much battery to charge, fully charge your Steam Deck. But I think you can get just something like 10, 15 or 20 minutes to play your favorite game. It is just because I have an option to charge some devices from the my phone. Maybe you have something like that or maybe not, you can just try. But uh, if I just quit that option, the phone start charging from my Steam Deck. So it's very nice. You can charge your phone from Steam Deck. If you have some options like I have, you can charge Steam Deck from your phone. But uh, I cannot connect it uh, to, you know, like to put my files, to put my, to open my photos on the Steam Deck. So it's just only charging. And um, yeah, that's no, no, no devices like my phone here. So it's just, it can work like a power bank. It's interesting option, but I don't think it's the best. Okay guys, so now we know that we can connect USB Type-C microphones to our Steam Deck and it's very nice. And you can just have a nice sound if you want because internal sound, yeah, it's rather quite good if you just want to say something. But if you film in your games, but if you want to have a really nice quality of your sound, you can use external microphones and I think it's very nice. And uh, it's a pity, but you cannot connect your web cameras there. And really, it's, I think it's not really a problem because I don't know what can be a case when you can use your web camera in your Steam Deck. Maybe if you can call someone on uh, Skype, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. So it's okay, we just try to connect our camera, but it doesn't work. And when I connected my cell phone, it can be a two options to charge my Steam Deck and to get charged from my Steam Deck. So if you have option from your phone to charge something, you can even charge your Steam Deck. But if you have a simple random phone, you can just charge a little bit your phone from the Steam Deck. So your Steam Deck can build something like a little power bank for your phone. And it's okay, it's good, it's good news, because sometimes when you play hard and you can just have a low battery, you can charge your device. And if, if you have low battery on your phone, you can charge it from your Steam Deck. It's very nice news, I think. So I hope you like that video. So push like and subscribe for my channel. Have a nice day, guys, and goodbye.